Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do another deck list video, and this time it's on Granbull. Now this deck was pretty big back when it first came out. Tord Reckliff played it to a pretty high spot in a regionals. I don't remember which one it was. Um, lots of other people played it, pretty high spots. It kind of fell off the radar when tag teams came in just because it doesn't do enough damage output. But with some new cards in from Unbroken Bonds, this deck is going to make a resurgence, or has made a resurgence, at least in Japan. And we'll probably do the same here in the US. But with these new cards in, helps it go a little bit better, helps it go a little bit faster. You're now two-shotting things instead of one-shotting most things. But it works out because tag teams give you so many prizes. But starting off, start off with four Snubble. Of course, this is our starting Pokemon. You have to evolve into Gramble to get what you want. And next we have four Gramble. Now what we're going for is this all out attack. Does 30 damage unless you have no cards in your hand and then it does 130 more damage. So you're hitting at 160 if you have no cards in hand. If you have a choice band attached, you're doing 190 against a Tag Team GX. Now part of the way we're gonna get those cards out of our hand is with Oranguru. Uh, not necessarily out of our hands, but that's gonna help us draw through our deck, get rid of, uh, draw some more cards if we need to get rid of something. So we have an Ultra Ball, we need one more card to discard whatever, maybe evolve into Gramble, and then we're able to get that knockout with zero cards in hand. Next up we have one Mew. This is from Unbroken Bonds. This is the one with the ability that prevents damage done to the bench by your opponent's Pokemon. Super good. Uh, probably be a tech in a lot of decks. Next up we have one Ditto Prism and this basically acts as a fifth Snubble. That way you can have four Snubble on the bench and one or five Snubble on the bench and then Oranguru active or Snubble on the active. You know whatever. It can be evolved into a grand bowl is basically what it's there for. If you knock one, if you somebody, if a snubble gets knocked out early, you've still got four basically in the deck. Um, obviously, when it dies, it goes to the lost zone, so you can't get it back with rescue stretcher, but it is very valuable to have that in there. Having five basics instead of four is always a big deal. Next up, we have four apricorn maker, and this is for searching out ultra balls, nest balls. Um, that that uh that card says search for two item cards with the ball with the name ball in there with ball in their name. So very good for searching out those ultra balls, nest balls to get out your snubbles or in gurus or discarding cards with ultra ball. Next up we have four red challenge. This is from Unbroken Bonds, and what this does is it says discard two cards from your hand, draw one or not draw. Discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for a card. So basically, with Red's Challenge, you're able to get rid of two cards that you can't play that turn and get a card that you do need. So basically, you're able to discard two cards and get whatever cards you want. Choice Band, what have you. And next up, we play two Diantha. Now this card right here is a really good card for Fairy Dex. It says, um, if you can play this card only if one of your Fairy Pokemon was knocked out during your last turn or during your opponent's turn. Uh, put two cards from your discard pile into your hand. So, super good. Allows you to get whatever two cards out of your discard that you want, so you're not afraid to discard anything. Next up, we have one Guzma. Everybody knows what that's for. A little bit of switching. Sometimes you just got to get that extra damage on the bench, or maybe there's something that you need to knock out on the bench that you can hit with that Guzma. And that's all for the supporters. Next, we're going to go into the, the item line. Now, there are a bunch of four ofs in this deck, so... It's gonna take up a lot of room. But anyway, we have four Ultra Balls. Discard two, search your deck for a Pokemon. We all know what that's for. Four Nest Ball, put a basic Pokemon from your from your deck onto your bench. We all know what that's for. Next up, we have Pokegear 3.0. This says search, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Put a supporter card you find there into your hand. Uh, really good for early game looking for that Lily or what have you, even though this deck doesn't play Lily. In other decks, it's that's what you use it for. But in this one, you're going to be looking for Apricorn Maker or Red's Challenge. Next up, we have four Custom Catcher. This card is universal, um, multi-use, I should say. If you played one card, draw until you have three cards in your hand, so it's basically an Origuru. If you played two cards, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So it's basically a Lysander, but it's not your supporter for turn. Next up, we have one, one. We have four Rescue Stretcher. And because you're gonna be losing Snubbles and Grambles so fast, 
Um, normally they're going to be getting knocked out every turn. I would say you're going to want to get them back. That's what the four rescue stretchers are for. Next we have three bodying building dumbbell because adding four damage, 40 damage, adding 40 hit points to any stage one Pokemon is always nice. Next up we have two switch. Just a little bit of switching power. Maybe they try to goose them up and Oregon Guru get it stuck with switch. They're never going to be able to do that. We have one spy hood. And what this does, it says prevent all abilities done to the Pokemon this card is attached to by your opponent's Pokemon. So basically it stops spread decks. Um, if they are trying to add damage to you with the spread, it is not going to work. Um, I'm thinking of the new Weezing. Next up will be the stadiums we have one shrine of punishment just put that right there to do a little bit of tick damage on them uh, gx's helps helps fix the numbers i mean you're doing 200 with a choice band if you've got that down next up we have one wondrous labyrinth now this thing is for fairy decks pretty much whenever uh, the attacks of non-fairy uh, non Pokemon, both of yours and your opponents, cost more. So if they're not playing a fairy po Pokemon, they have to have one more energy on their Pokemon to be able to attack. So Charizard Reshiram hits for four energies, now it has to hit for five. Super annoying. It means they can no longer Welder turn one and then Welder turn two and be able to attack. They have to attach for turn. And now we have energies. We have two, four, six and seven energy cards uh that is um i don't know it seems awful low but with red challenge and where's the other one red challenge and diantha you should be able to get them back easily should be able to find them lots of draw going on there um should be able to find all kinds of cards in this deck while discarding what you need to get your hand down to zero but anyway guys that's the video um please leave a like subscribe all that good stuff, hit that, hit that like or that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.